Hello Youtubers, welcome to my channel, let's do some traveling. Today we visited Apoyo and Taqueria in Roswell, Georgia. This place has real barbacoa tacos and gorditas, and the charcoal broiled chicken is amazing. The only place in Roswell, Georgia where you can find it. It reminds me the chicken roasted in charcoal near Puerto Salinas Beach in Leviton, Puerto Rico, my hometown. This restaurant opened from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Tuesday to Sunday. As we walked in, we were greeted with a smile and the place smelled like good food is being prepared back in the kitchen. Por favor, quiero este... La de manos. Tortillas de manos. They have handmade hand tortillas here. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna order more. So, I want it. You want some chicken? Sure. What I'm gonna say sure is not sure. It's like whatever you want. So, give me half a chicken. You want some rice and beans? Yes. Okay, so you try that. I'm gonna give you to try my tacos too. But I want to try a little bit of everything now. Okay? Okay, so I'm gonna have a half a un pollo a la mitad. You know, pollo. Medio pollo, sí. Do you prefer uh, breast or ground meat? Breast. Yeah, que sea pechuga, por favor. Pura pechuga, sí. Yeah, so for okay. You want some rice and beans? And... Okay, let's see what they have. They have rice and beans, they got fried rice. You should try the fried rice. They got Mexican rice too. Bean to beans, black bean, onion salad, french fry. Ah, con salada de cebolla? Puede pedir algo más? Sí. Y what else? Rice rice? Fried rice? Mexican rice? Bean to beans? Uh, yeah, yeah, give, me, give me some uh, fried rice because they came arroz frito. Me dijeron que es muy buena. Give me an opportunity to go back in the kitchen. This is where all the magic happens. And this is the road. Oh my gosh. Look at that charcoal there. Wow. I love it. I love it. Look at that. This looks beautiful. How, how long it takes to cook? Wow. And I tried and I tried because I think I bought it a couple of uh, like a month ago and it was delicious. I mean it was it's really good. Thank you so much. A lot of sauces. Now some of them are hot and this some one has avocados in it. Uh no, it's not avocado actually. That's uh that's uh cilantro, green cheetahs, probably uh green tomatillos. I think this one is tomatillos for that one. Huh? That one has tomatillos too, yeah? Like yeah. That one this one is super hot. It's hot. Uh, for me, it's not that hot because I'm used to very hot stuff. So, I, 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 I'm going to gonna take this one and this one. And you take whatever you want. You can you can share, whatever. Let's so, share. Okay. Which one is like the spiciest one? Um, I think it's this one down here. That's what they call me. You see that they have it like apart from the other one? But yeah, you know, mild, hot, and I'm gonna leave you a, a march there, a, a scar. <laughs> Alright, so this one? Yeah, I'll get that one. We got water, don't worry. Oh, this one? Tomatoes? Is that the most picante of all? That's the most picante, right? Does this have avocados? No, 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 I told you, but you didn't believe me. You got the green one? I got the good one. She got the hottest one. Let's see if she can handle this stuff. Which one is the hottest one? That, that one. little, yeah, the little red one. I'll get to the beach. Look at that. I think those are more tacos. So this, this, this is a gordita. That's a gordita. That's a gordita. I mean, you know what gordita means in English? The fatty one. <laughs> I know, right? So a gordita is a gordita is they take the dough of the tortilla and they make it like tea, like a fried bread, like a little, what do you call it, a little pancake of it, 
and the deep fry. What's the difference between this and a babusa? A babusa is the dough. The dough is different. They use different type of dough. No? No. no. Yeah. Are you making fun of my accent? No, no, no. no. Yes, you are. You have this on camera. <laughs> I'm not going to edit that part. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it there. Just fight it. She was Don't making fun of yeah. She was making fun of my accent. Do. <laughs> I was going to say do. So it's a different dough. Yeah. Okay. And um, are from Mexico. The foods that are from Salvador. Um, El Salvador. Yeah, that one. That, that, that comes from Salvador. And Mexico, yeah, it's Salvador. Dominicans? No, no. Dominicans don't have that kind of They have something different. Puerto Ricans is not having Puerto Ricans, we have five bread. We call it arepas. 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 Are you, like, is, are you trying uh, Navajo fried bread? Mm -hmm. No, we didn't try. It's, it's just water, flour. We put some coconut milk on it, a little salt, and we just make a dough and we just fry it. Oh! I mean, that's the, that's, that's the, the icon, icon uh, this year. Scientists in the Yeah, so what we have here, we have a, uh, we got a uh, cow guts, or tripas. You know, cow, the small intestine from their cow, they, 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 they do it here. That's because you can try it. Right, yeah, tripas, right, guts. Chitlings in the United States, they call it chitlings. C no, no, no. S H I C H I chitlings. Chitlings, yeah, that one. Yeah. Chitlings, that's the thing that they know here. In Mexico, tripa, not tripa. Uh, this is cow head, but I know in Mexico it's called barbacoa. Yes. Okay, this is barbacoa. That's the real And then the real barbacoa. They call it cow head tacos. And you have to like cheese. It's the cheek, the neck, you know, whatever, whatever they do, they're gonna do steak out there. What they do is they take the pork, or, you know, in Mexico, right? They yes. take the pork cow, they wrap it all in a uh, maguey leaf. The maguey is the leaf that they use to do the tequila. So that's, that's a very sweet, uh, sweet type of full pork, like right? the meaty leaf. They put it on a, on a hole and they put shark away, leave it overnight, and that's how they do what it was. That's the best way to do it. So these guys here, this they place, I don't know if they're doing it, I don't think so, but still they are mimicking the flavor and it's really good. And this one is a typical al pastor chicken. No, it's pork. It's marinated pork, pineapple, red stuff. I want you to try the the cabeza. It's beef. Too much pressure? Yes. Are you sure though? I'm really weird. Yeah, you are weird. <laughs> <laughs> we know that. We established that a long time ago. Like, you're too good. What's that? <laughs> Come on, it's a game. Okay. Awesome. It's a game. What's that? Oh, okay. It's a game. It's a game for the audience. That's enough. Come on. Like, oh, right? People oh, see it because they call it cow head or cheese, whatever, this is just meat. It's tender. It's tender, I know. That's what I'm... And this is creamy, it's fatty. Yeah. It's fatty, too. That's, how, that's why it's like kind of creamy. Creamy, yeah, yeah. Because uh, with this area, the, the face has a lot of... Uh, you tell me it's a good part of anatomy. A lot of... Uh, <laughs> you know, you have seen a couple of them in the war. By the way, we work together. We used to work together in the war. But the corporate shop is shop lifted in the war. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. She dumped the us, leave the boat because it was sinking, and she went to a better place. Hey, yeah, got the for you. And these tortillas are handmade here. That's one of the reasons I come, I just keep on coming back here. Because it reminds me so much of Mexico. That's real, that's how they get their smoke. No, there's not a conventional type of tortilla that you buy in a country store. It's not that it's homemade here, they just made it right now. They just eat it right now, good for you. So special, you see. I'm not very special. So usually, what I do, uh, and you know what, I need some salt. So I put some salt to help with my blood pressure, just to keep it high. Huh? And then I dump it a little bit of the slime. Yeah, always. That's not very Mexican. Oh, come on, you gotta use the salt. No, I'm, I'm gonna chicken out of that one because I already had it. Really? Yeah, I don't want to be paying for it later. Um, the, the, the good thing of the more Hispanic cuisine, 
with uh, you mix all you know you have to feel, go back in history it's, uh, it's the, who was the Spanish conquistador who invaded Mexico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. they brought their own cuisine now they meet some people down there maybe from Oregon and they they, they start mixing yeah, and then we got the African slaves coming and you have a melting pot of different cultures Everybody put a little bit of their touch of the food. Little spices. So this is the cow head but this is my favorite. And this is what I keep coming back for. And I'm gonna enjoy this. That's so good. Traguitos de cabeza. They have made the tortilla here. The cow head taco tradition, are very creamy, very fatty, right on the spot. I live in seven years in Mexico. I know what I'm talking about. I eat tacos every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And these people really got it. They really know what they're doing. The flavor is amazing. I've been coming here for the last three months. I've been eating here like once a week before I go back home. Today, I invited one of my special friends from work. We used to work in surgery until she decided to follow her dreams and find a better job. Oh my God, this fried rice is so good. Yeah, right? Yeah, you know, I, I, I did order that because uh, I saw, I read some reviews. Yeah. And I told myself, well, I made it. I made it. Oh, it's not right for the vida. You see, she really likes it. Um, um, so I go, I go by scouting. In the world. I, like to go, I don't like to be in a franchise fast food or it's a, waste of, it's a waste of time, a waste of fat roll that you're gonna gain. So if I'm gonna get a fat roll, you better be pretty consumed, you know, good food. Uh, not big corporate. Right? It's not just me a place down the road, but in the supermarket. Right. Oh they do they do they do handmade tortillas, you can do Saracola. So I think one one day here. And because I live in Mexico, I know how that food really tastes. Out. So I wasn't that good, man. I was like, eh, it's lacking a lot. What do you have any medicine? Huh? What do you have any medicine down there? Really? In Mexico, yeah. Wow. I put it in my medical school. So, Spanish speaking, Spanish speaking. Wait a minute, I thought we were. I thought you were working, but that's what you told us about. I know. Stop working. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll watch what I say. Don't worry, I'll just add it to my ear. I'm gonna watch it for my salad. So, when I told you that I studied medicine in Mexico, you know, you know what's fucking around with me? Yes! What? What? What would I lie about that? I love that. I have good friends there. I still have good friends down there. Oh, what are you talking about? Not so. There's a supermarket down there. Uh -huh. And when I went there, it didn't have a stroke, but then I started looking around and I said, like, Oh, this is a very Hispanic song, like, reason. So I started checking out, so I was going to ball for ball and then Google. Oh, there's a taco here, taco place, taco place, and this one I got the place in this area. You look down there. So I started going to every place, trying to find out what I like, who was the best guy. And this place, oh, that's the winner. Taquitos de trequita. I mean, cow, dog, tacos, and they make it here. They call it, in the first time you can find it, they call it that, they call it chitlin, like what you say, chitlins? Chitlins. Chitlins, my accent, shit with mommy. Shit. like shit. Shit wins. Shit. Taquitos de tripa, or the dog tacos. It's kind of like a chun, like a chitlins. Mm. Good? Oh, yeah. She's going for the muscles. She's going for it. She's going for it. Oh, I got a fire extinguisher handy. It's hot. Oh my god. It's very hot. I already tried before. Did you like it? Yeah, I like it. It's so hot. I was paying for it. They said, that's the problem. I don't want to go through that again. But I'm going to stick up with this one. The green one is it's hot, but it's not going to chop me. 
Okay, you said pastor. Let's see how they are. I tried before. I know they're good. <laughs> So, what I have here right now, this is a gordita. You know what a gordita means in Spanish? I mean, in English, gordita is a Spanish word. In English, it means the fatty one. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's saucy, it's amazing. I mean, it's, uh, it's creamy, it's perfect. It's, it's hot, but not that hot. That Don't mess up the stuff. Stop it. Just, yeah, just go for it. If I get stain and all that stuff coming down my beard, it's gonna make fun of my That is not my true. Life, my life, my life. <laughs> And by the way, I'll you, know what, you, know, you know what her name was in the in the war? The bully of the war. That's how they call her. You know what? It was some hot sauce here. Yeah. So this one did they have a chicharron inside, right there inside. And they put some lettuce, some um, Mexican queen, and some red cheese. I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. And I always go for second because you never, I don't tell you always my video. You never take the flavor on the first side. Like, I always go for second because you never, I don't tell you always my video. You never take the flavor on the first side. Like, the first thing you is an introduction of the flavor in your mouth. Now, then you taste what you get used to it, and then you go for the second one, and then you're gonna find it. So, the second bite? No, wait. No, wait. If people want to know where we are, we are at the Pollo Peruvia Mexican Tagueria in Roswell, Georgia. So, let me know in the comments if you want to see this video. If you're in the area, come check it out. They have authentic Mexican food, and I'm honest, I'm gonna say you have to trust me. Because I live in Mexico seven years when I'm studying abroad there and there. And all these packages here, all these plates, and whatever they have in the menu, is really authentic. The sauces are amazing. The staff is always greet you with a smile. They speak English, they speak Spanish, you can do whatever you want, be your family. This restaurant is unique and their food is amazing. If you're near Roswell, Georgia, check Apoyo. You won't be disappointed. This is Doc Traveler, thanks for watching and buen provecho.